Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Shopkeepers plugin. What this plugin allows you to do is trade items using custom villagers. It allows both for player and admin shops. To install the plugin, just head over to the plugin section and search for Shopkeepers. Make sure it's the right version and just hit the install button, and then restart your server and you're ready to go. You can literally use this plugin without going into the config, but I'll quickly show you that now. If you scroll down here to the shop creation section, you can enable and disable the creation of player shops by changing the option here. You can limit the amount of shops players create if you have the permissions enabled. We're going to leave this as is. You can also enable and disable name tags and even change the prefix of the name tags right here. Right now it's just a color. So for example, if I change this to ampersand three and trade in the square brackets like so, it will always say trade in dark aqua color before the actual name. There are more things to change, but I'm not going to go through them all since there are comments and they explain everything. But of course, if you're not sure, just refer to the plugin page, link in the description. All right, let's go into the game and create a shopkeeper. Okay, so if you want to spawn a shopkeeper, the admin shopkeeper, just type in slash shopkeeper and it'll spawn one. Um, you can right click it, open it, and you can see it says shopkeeper. If you crouch and uh, right click it, you'll get the option menu. So these are the slots and the first two here are the ones where you can, um, uh, is, what is what's required for you to pay and uh, get the item. And the last slot here is what you'll get. So you can see here, I'm gonna need two emeralds and one coal to get one diamond and it doesn't work any other way. So that's that. And uh, of course you can change them around uh, however you want. You can change the appearance um, by choosing uh, this block right here. And as you can see, uh, the villager is changed and you can change the name by clicking the name tag and typing a name. So let's say villager, and you can also see the prefix that we made in a config and it's a dark aqua color. You can also remove the villager by clicking the bone here and pressing delete. So let's take all this back and delete. If you want to have a different shopkeeper, for example, let's say uh, a chicken, you can do that as well and of course if you right click the ch chicken it will become a shopkeeper and it's the same sort of thing so let's say i want to trade one diamond to get one emerald and as you can see it works of course those are admin shops and if you want to create player shops all you have to do is just place a chest and then hold up a sign and type in shopkeeper sign and then it will place a shop right here and it's the same sort of GUI here you just right click the sign and that's that apart from that I hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped if you do require any other help please check out the spigot page or contact our support team apart from that thank you very much for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one goodbye